Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist. So today guys I'm going to be picking my Spanish La Liga team on Sir Fancy Football. If you like this video smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Sir yet sign up to the link below. You will get a free limited card and you'll also get to draft your teams as well. Including your English Premier League team as well. Ready for the Premier League kickoff. Okay then guys, let's get stuck into it then. So as I say, I'm going to be picking my La Liga Santander Spanish fantasy team today. Now, there is a bit of a change in the format until the new cards are released in the Spanish La Liga. So those that played last season will still have the same squad that you picked in the draft at the start of last season. But as soon as the new Spanish La Liga cards come out, you'll then be able to pick a brand new squad. But until then... You've still got the cards from last season, but you now can use four transfers instead of two until the, until the new cards are released. Okay, so I'm just going to click into my. Uh, I'm just going to click into register just to see what players I've currently got in my squad. So I'm going to filter to no game this week as well. So I've got um, Agüero Bella. For Atletico Bilbao in goal, so I probably need to change him. I've um, got a couple of defenders as well, not the best though. Yare is not bad, but again, an hard fixture against Real Madrid. Uh, I've got Tony Cruz, Real Madrid, that's good. Danny Pereggio as well for Villarreal, that's that's another really good good card there. Um, Lewandowski looks like a keeper as well. I've also got Ayazabal as well for Real Sociedad. He's not too bad really, don't know if he's going to be started or not though. Um, so it looks like it's men, the goalkeepers, defenders that I need to get rid of. Midfielders are fine. F Lewandowski is going to be my main forward. I could also play Pareggio and um, Tony Cruz there in midfield. So that could be one of my extra slots. So it's probably going to be the goalie and defender that I probably need to change you guys. And I might be also be tempted to bring in Gerard Moreno of Villarreal to potentially link up with um, Pereggio. So let me just go to add cards. So I'm just going to go to the goalkeepers. Uh, I've also got this guy as well, Badia. Now I don't know if it, who he plays for, but it looks like he's potentially not playing anymore. I'm going to keep this um, Agatha Bala if he is still the first choice for Athletic Bilbao because he's only 40 points. That is the cheapest points that you can find, guys, on so rare fans of football. This is sort of the points cap that you have. So you have so much of these gems to spend. The lowest is 40. And this score is based on the L15. So that's the last 15 scores. The average fantasy points scored by that player. Makes this total here guys. So I'm just going to go over to playsharper.com. This way you can get all your lineups on so rare. Just want to look at this Atletico Bilbao team. Just to see who the starting goalkeepers like it to be. So it's going to be Simon Ballocks of things. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't look like he's a starter, this Agia Sabala. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of him, I would say. So probably get rid of both of these goalkeepers. Defenders, Yare's okay, but it's looking quite pricey there at 57. With me getting rid of that goalkeeper as well for the same team, I like Go Bilbao. I will get rid of um, Yuri as well. Now I've got Mafau here. Who does he play for? Um, he plays for Mallorca, I believe. Let's just go to this fixture. So Mallorca, there we go. I'm playing the newly promoted team. So Mafau is a starter for them. Um, it doesn't look like they're the favourites though. Uh, these are the new teams that have been promoted from the Spanish Liga 2, Las Palmas. So that could be interesting. But I might be tempted to get rid of both of these defenders as well, actually. Potentially. Although I might keep my foul. At least he's starting. I'm um, probably not going to be starting in this game week, though. But I will have him as a potential backup. Because I might want to get rid of Iazabal. But let's just see if he's going to be starting here. Because he's not a bad player, really. When he is starting. He did have his injury issues last season. Um, he has about a 60% look, so he's not a certain starter there. So, so let's have a look. So, I will just get rid of these three players for now because them two are the lowest anyway 40 and 40. Probably not going to need to use them. So, go ahead and click confirm. So, that means I've got 145 gems to, to spend, guys. 
on these players. So obviously I need a starting goalkeeper and starting defender. If we can get a nice stack, that'll be fantastic. A nice stack from a team. I think that's going to be a really good option there. So let's just go ahead and click add card. Now this is where I'll be able to select my players. Now goalkeepers, let's just first of all look at the fixtures. So Seville looked to have a decent fixture. Let's see who their starting goalkeeper is as well on here. The good thing about looking at the lineups on here as well, guys, is you can see the L15 score. So that's going to be the amount of gems that you'll need to spend for that player as well. Um, Navas is still going strong. He's still a starter for Seville by looks of things. Um, I think he's about 37 now, isn't he? Uh, so it's a it looks like Bonner or Dimitri, Dimitrovic are the potential starters for Seville. Doesn't look like it's 100% certain, though. Who's going to be start there. So I don't really want to risk that. Real Sociedad could be a good one. Um, but I won't be able to have a defender. Because I've already got um, a Yazabal in my team of course. He plays for Real Sociedad. You can only have two players from the same team. Real Madrid could be a good one. A way to Atletico Bilbao. Celta Vigo doesn't look too bad really. But they've got an easy fixture. They're probably not going to be do that well during the season I'd say. Villarreal could be a good one again potentially. Barcelona is obviously a, a solid choice. Um, Atletico Madrid as well. So let's just have a look at some of these top teams here, guys. Let's have a look at Real Madrid, um, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Just see how much their goalkeepers and defenders are based on their L15. So Real Madrid, here we go. So they've got... Um, Cortes is 58. Um, it's going to cost you 58. Best defender is probably going to be Malatau, so he's 58 as well. So that's looking a bit pricey there for them two players alone. But we will, we will bear it in mind. Um, who was the other one? Barcelona wants it. Uh, to Stegen, fantastic goalkeeper. He's going for 60 though. And then Kude is probably the best one in the defence there. 57. But Arajo could be a good choice as well at 54. Um... And even Sergio Roberto at 47 could be a cheaper option there. And the other team was Atletico Madrid, wasn't it? So we've got our black and gold there. He's only 50, actually, guys. 50 points. So that looks a real bargain to me there. Um, and Savic is probably one of the better options in terms of defenders. Or oh, Hermoso. Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look at these players' scores, guys. So Savic wants it and Hermoso. Let's just have a look at the rest of five scoring ability. Now Savage is good when he's playing. He's not too bad actually. And Hermoso is also not too bad. So he's 55 gems. He's 51. So that could be a really good option there guys. That's a really cheap goalie. Um, especially for a flake club. Madrid who usually play quite defensively. But let's just see what would happen if I did... Select Cortius and Militao. So as you can see, it's only going to leave me 29 gems. Obviously, the lowest is going to be 40. The minimum price of a player is going to be 40. So that is not going to be feasible there, guys. So get rid of them too. Tess Stegen and who was the other defender for them? I think it was Kudne when it was the first choice. Again, that's probably not going to be feasible. So it does make sense here to go with the Atletico Madrid goalkeeper. Obviously, they're a good team as well, um, Atletico Madrid. Uh, I can't see him coming up on here, though. Let's just go back to this Oblak. Oh, there he is, 50. So I put him in. I think that makes perfect sense. Um, now, we are going to need another goalkeeper. So I'm just going to look for another goalkeeper that is 40 points. Put him in. Um, let's have a look. Jorgensen. I don't think he's first choice for Villarreal, is he? Let's just go through these goalkeepers, actually, guys. Just see if there's any here. So, Marino could be a good one, but... Oh, he could be a good one. Dimitrisky. He should be 40 points. So, he could be a good one. I'm just having a look at the L15 here, guys. Just see if there's any predicted starters that are going to be 40 or below in terms of the points cap. 58. Simon's looking cheap as well, guys. 46, actually. So that is interesting. Simon could be a good one. And your race scores well as well. So let me just look at that. I've just noticed that, actually. For a couple. But, yeah, as I say, though, they've got a difficult fixture, haven't they? 
Villa for Seville is 43. That's pretty cheap. Not 40, though. I'm looking for one that's got 40 points cap. Because, obviously, Oblak would be my first choice. So, this guy here, Jorgensen for Villarreal, could potentially be the first choice here, guys. Look. And he costs 40 points on the in gems as well. So, 55, 56. And this final one, 50 Oblak and 62 for that other guy. So let's just go back to this Villarreal again. So Jorgensen, he's only 40 points. He plays for Villarreal. But if I want to bring in Moreno in the future, which I probably will do, potentially, um, I'm probably not going to get this guy because that's going to go over the two players from Villarreal because I've already got Pereggio, you see. Um, so I think I'm going to actually go with the... Was it the Mallorca goalkeeper? No, it was... No, it was Real, Real Vallecano, wasn't it? There we go. This guy. He's an international as well for... I can't remember for now, but... He's an international player as well. So I think it makes sense to go with him. There he is. 40 points. That'll do. Um, so that leaves me 55 coins now, guys. Now, obviously, I do need a starting defender as well. 55 points. But if I was to get Pereggio... Let me just have a look how much he is. Not Pereggio, sorry. Moreno... Is 45 coins. So if I was to replace this guy here, that cost me an additional 5 points. So that would leave me 50 points then for a defender. Because I've got another transfer, of course, guys. You get 4 transfers. So let's just see if there's any players that are 50 points that look a decent bargain here. Um, 50. 50. Gaia for Villa Valencia. That could be a decent one. Pretty difficult fixture though, away. If we want a better bargain than that though, don't we guys? So let's see what else we've got. Mandy might be a decent one, but again he's Villarreal. If I want to get Moreno. Ah, Sergio Roberto. Now, he is predicted to start here. Um, For Barcelona. At that right back position. Let's just go back to that. Well, this could be a good one guys actually. 70% chance. Um, so let's just have a look what other sites say then, guys. So we've got uh, this site here. Not really got the predicted lineups for that yet. Um, this one, this don't say it's going to be starting on this one. So that could be a bit of a risk potentially. Let's just go back to the lineups and just look for someone who's potentially 50 points in some of the bigger teams here. So uh, Real Madrid. Uh, Carvajal, that could be a good one actually guys. Carvajal, he is certainly capable of getting some good scores. Jordi Alba as well, Poten I mean David Alba potentially. Let's just have a look at Carvajal. Let's just look at his stats. I think he is capable of getting some good scores when he is playing guys. And it should be 40 points as well. So let's just look at his stats in the Spanish La Liga. That's, yeah, actually he's not that great is he? <laughs> Pretty terrible, aren't they, recently? Um, okay, so let's scrap that idea. See who else we've got here then. Barcelona. So we've got... Only said Roberto, but again, I think that's a bit of a risk. And Atletico Madrid. Of course, we've got the goalkeeper. This guy is 60% starting, so that's a risk. Moso is just under that 50. Ah, we've got Aspilicueta here. Now, he's a new signing, isn't he? He's going to be... He should be 40, 40 points. Let's just see if he's available to get on here. So, he could be a good one, actually, guys, if he starts. It doesn't look like he's... Yeah, it doesn't look like he's available on here. I think it's because he's not... Yeah, he's not on there. It's just unfortunate. So, it's a bit tricky, this, guys. I think Valencia was the other option, wasn't it, as well? This Gaia, because he is good at scoring. He's only 50 points. Uh, let's just have a look at him, Gaia, for Valencia. With Seville, though, it's not the best fixture, is it? But as you can see, guys, in the last year, he's capable of getting some decent scores. So, he is tempting if I did want to bring Moreno in. Or well, the other option, of course, is I can spend these 55 points on Savage to double up with my goalkeeper. A red Joe, even, for Barcelona. But that means I wouldn't be able to bring in Moreno as a backup potentially. So 
bit of a risk there. But it means I've got a stack before Atletico Madrid, though. I can always change it in the following game weeks, of course, get four transfers. So I think for this game week, I will actually go with Savic. And I'll just click confirm. So that's it. Those are three players coming out. Those are three players coming in. Go ahead and click done. And now, guys, I'll be able to pick my team. So Oblak in goal. Savic for a nice stack there for Atletico Madrid. And I've got Tony Cruz in midfield. Lewandowski up front. And Danny Pereggio as the alternative extra player. So, captain, guys, I'm actually going to go with Robert Lewandowski. My guess is he's probably going to score a goal or two. I think that's looking really good. Let's just have a look at the odds here. So, we've got Villarreal 1.75, Barcelona 1.55, away to Getafe. So, I think that looks the outside pick there. Also got Real Madrid, 2.05 away to Fletico Bilbao. A little bit of a difficult fixture based on the odds. And I don't really want to put a goalkeeper or defender as the captain, even though they have got the best fixture in terms of the odds. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with Lewandowski. Always scoring plenty of goals, guys. Well, of course, check the team news as well. And your captain as well, guys, gets 50% bonus on their score. All I need to do is just click the confirm button and that team will be submitted ready for the upcoming game week. So that was it guys. My Liga team is ready on Sir Rare Fantasy Football. You can draft your team for free as well by clicking the join button in the link in the description. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one.